Hi there, welcome to our first market update of 2020 and this is our year in review but in this review I'm going to be talking about some of the stuff that people are always asking us about and it's going to come under four specific headings. So the first one, volume of activity versus the previous year, house prices and areas which have had the highest level of activity, where is there next to be buying and then of course our region versus other regions in the UK. The first topic for today, what happened in 2019 and what we're expecting to happen in 2020 as far as buyer and seller activity is concerned. Well, the big story for us this year, 2% increase in first time buyers looking across our marketplace and that adds to an increase from the year previous. And what did that mean for our sales volume? We had a 2% increase across the whole year at Manning Staines in the number of properties that were placed under offer. And that was against a small 1% fall in the number of properties coming to market. And that was the story of the year, really. We saw buyers flooding into the market, wanting to get their hands on the next properties, and sellers just being a little bit more tentative, waiting to see what was going on, and concerned about some of the political stuff, I think, that was happening around us. And in 2020, we are expecting that that demand and supply imbalance will redress itself a little bit and there'll be more people looking to place their property on the market in the coming year. Next thing, house prices. Everybody always asking us about what is going on with prices. Well look, in a nutshell, house prices across our region, across Manning Stainton's average price, increased by 4.5% through 2019. A little bit ahead of what the region's doing. Again, I'm going to come on to that a little bit later on. Um, and what are we expecting for 2020? We're expecting a very similar 4 to 5% growth in prices through the course of this year. Of course, I'm going to qualify that by saying if you own a certain type of property in certain areas, you may see more than that. And of course, for some, you may see a little bit less. So here's the big one, the one I get asked all the time when I'm out, when I'm around a dinner table, whatever it might be. Uh, where is that that we should be thinking of buying? What are the areas that we need to be watching? I'm going to split this into three really specific camps. First one, uh, any of the areas around Kirkstall, Burley, um, bottom side of Bramley, all looking really good for growth. There's loads of investment going on around that location. Number two, I still love Crossgates, Garforth, some of the villages in between. The money that is going into the east side of the city is truly remarkable. Um, and third area, a real long-term play could be the south part of the city as the city looks to expand out towards places like Holbeck and Beeston. Again, seeing a huge amount of investment in this location, um, some selective licensing issues for landlords could mean that some of these properties are coming back up and be bought by young first-time buyers. I've just got a feeling that that area could be set for some really, really nice growth. Again, really connected to the city centre and looks like it could be one potentially for the future. So how is our region performing against other regions in the UK? Well, how good is this? So the Yorkshire and Humber region, according to the Land Registry House Price Index, which is kind of like the place where you want to go if you want to see what's actually happening with house prices, Yorkshire and Humber had a 3.2% increase in prices over the course of this year. And that is the highest region in the whole of the UK. What I love about our region as well, and this is a little bit complicated, but stick with me. If you look at the income multiples that you need to buy a house up here, you're talking about needing to have about six times income to purchase a house around our region. Go down anywhere near London, you're looking at 15 times your income to purchase a house. You wanna buy a house in Mayfair? No chance, 24 times income. So this area remains super affordable and really is built on solid foundations and I believe that should provide us with some great springboard for growth moving into this year and beyond. So that's it from me today. That's all I've got to tell you about what's going on in our marketplace for now. Of course, as always, stay in touch with us through these updates. We're going to be doing them all year long uh, and it'd be great to talk to you about how we can help you move in 2020.